Okay, I gotta show you something. Guys, look how big this water bottle, I'm joking. Seriously, I gotta show you something. Look what came in the mail today. Swish. Ooh, there go my baby. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells like a car. Ah! Wait. Torture. Ooh, this is sexy. Yeah, a little uh, Fender Telecaster. You like that, don't you? With the butterscotch finish. Cause I'm sweet like that. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so my drill catalog is, you know, low key, weak as hell. So I'm thinking for the next two days, let's just make a bunch of drill beats. And I also wanna do this a lot more efficiently. So moving forward, I wanna make full beats so I can send those to artists and managers. And then if I make the melody myself, I'm gonna export that sample and give those out to other producers. Also, the drums I'm gonna be using from this video is from Cymatics, the Drill Essentials drum kit. What should we do for the melody? Easy and sustained, maybe like a Mellotron string stuff. Ah uh, yeah, we'll start with that. I do that. I'll have it really mono for like the verse section and then open it up stereo for the hook. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's okay. I actually kind of want to have more fun with the sample. Let's clone the arrangement. We'll delete all the drum stuff and just work on the sample itself. Now we can export both. My guy, what's up, buddy? How are you? Good, can't complain. A lot of the concepts behind getting major placements and getting placements have not really changed at all. I think that number one, the most effective way to get a major placement is still to try and develop a relationship directly with the artist. And then the second best way to get a placement is to create a relationship with the person, the people that are closest with the artist. Sometimes it's the manager, sometimes it's the engineer. A lot of times it's the engineer. You know, one of the best ways to get beats to Meek Mill, for instance, is to send beats to Cruz. So, uh, you know, um, and vice versa. My instinct always goes to that place is how can I get my beats to the people that will get me closest to the artist? We should do we should like grow speed it whoa whoa wait wait a second oh uh, oh too dark sounding, it's kind of fun. This is 
cool. I don't think I would make this a sample though. It's too simple. But that's good. You know, once again, it's not a working day for me. But we got a response from Baby No Money. Four messages, one hour ago. <sighs> Bro, this video is so, for your plumber is great. Eighth. <laughs> Stems on the way, baby. You want some stems? I got you. When I think of a good relationship, it's face-to-face -face contact and talking and stuff like that. But if we're gonna be real about it, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. So what do you think is the best way to conduct a strong, genuine relationship online? In terms of connecting with people, figuring out a way that you could solve a problem for them, a problem that they didn't know they had, and then making it as easy as possible for them to acquire that particular thing, right? One example, right? Me and you, right? Mm -hmm. Now that I know that you're you're really ready to step into this world, like I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna harass you about sending me loops that oh. we can collaborate on. Don't play with me like that. No, Don't I'm play serious. With <laughs> like I'm gonna harass you now. I oftentimes put myself in the shoes of people that are looking for beats. Mm -hmm. And I tell myself, okay, like, what, the, what is this person thinking? How are they looking for music? What are they looking for? What type of energy are they trying to attract? Today, I want to kind of try to create a different vibe. Pretty much the same drums, the same 808 slides, but melodically, you know, I want it to feel a bit different. Not too sure if this is going to work, but we're just experimenting. Get. Get. Do the hole. Casual Friday today, anyway, whatever. All right, let's let's attempt to put the 808s in. Da, da, bum, wah, wah. Oh, it's not it's not bad. Ooh, the warm 808. Now I'm hearing It's LFO time. Oh, this is the one. Oh, that is the one. Oh, sick. That's in key. Let's go. I actually don't know who I would send this to. Let's ask you guys. Question. If you guys mention an artist that piques my interest, I'll try and get it to them. When you think about my man Murder, right? Like Murder Beats, yeah. he's all over the place. Mm -hmm. When you think about 2015, 2016, what he first started to bubble up, his pathway to major placements was leaving Canada and flying to Atlanta every week. Obviously COVID is, makes that difficult, but back then he went to Atlanta, he went to Chicago, he linked up with upcoming drill artists and you know, Migos who at the time were up and coming, they just so happened to explode. I think about like my man Jay White, Cardi B was on, on Love and Hip Hop and people were shitting on her cause she was talking about like, oh, I'm gonna be a rapper now. Jay White was like ready to hang it up. He had got a phone call from a mutual friend who said, hey, you know Cardi B from Love and Hip Hop? Like, she's looking for beats. Like, are you interested? And mm -hmm. Jay White was like, you know what? I'm going to work with her. Yeah. And he took the chance and he did. And they made Bodak Yellow and they essentially changed each other's lives. It's very bizarre because everyone's got their own sort of unique entryway or entry point. And I do believe that the cost of entry is risk. The cost of entry is, you know, taking a shot with certain things. I really believe that it's less of 
trying to immediately get to the big guys and mm -hmm. more so start here, build, and then you build with enough people where the momentum increases over time. And then all of a sudden the bigger guys are paying attention more mm -hmm. and more or and then they kind of just like snowball on top of each other over yeah. time. I want another different vibe. Let's load up the same drums though. <laughs> Let's record that really quickly. Yeah, two, three, whoa, it's fast. Let's, uh, let's flip this bad boy. It's not, it's not happening. It's not happening. I'm trying, no, it's not working. Sample's fine, beat's not working. As soon as I started to adopt a real schedule, like my career really started to thrive. I only work Monday through Friday. Saturday, Sunday, I'm off. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I stream on Twitch from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. I take all the beats that I make that day, I zip them up into a zip file, and then I send them off to my lawyer and my manager, and then six o'clock, comes around and I'm ready to clock out, cook dinner, spend some time with my, my wife. And then I, I, I'm in bed literally by 10 o'clock. <laughs> nice. 10. So Tuesdays and Thursdays for me, I use as an opportunity for a few things. Number one, Zoom call, talking to you, doing interviews, um, some more admin work, maybe creating a, a pack, putting energy into the, all the non-music production related stuff. It's, it's interesting because it, feels like there's not there's not enough time in the week based on how much stuff you're putting out yeah so do you have like a hyperbolic time chamber or how are you managing to pull this off monday wednesday friday i'm streaming so i'm making mm -hmm. a bunch of beats i mean i'm making anywhere between 5 and 15 beats per stream so i'm cranking them out i figured out ways to like save time also like all the artwork that i do like my packs and course and all this stuff i literally do everything on my phone again yeah like it, it seems like i don't have enough time but it when you really break it down to like all the little things that i'm able to do throughout the day like i'm able to accomplish this stuff. completely forgot about this but ocean sent me a couple samples like a month or so ago oh That's a cool pattern. Nice. Two kicks there. Clang, clang, clang. This is good. What are we gonna call this? It's like a, it's like a dark, stormy, rainy. We just sent this to Stormzy, by the way. I'm curious about the shopping beats out with the manager and the attorney. Here's what I've been doing lately. So I've been categorizing each folder mm -hmm. into 
like different categories but the yep. way that i do my categories is i'll do type b categories oh so, so there's a drake type there's a drake type b folder there's a travis scott b uh type b folder i think i put rihanna beyonce and megan the stallion in their own category i'll categorize in those folders and then zip those and then when they see those we're working with this like female rapper on empire who's similar to um megan the stallion let me look at that folder first mm -hmm. and send those off because ilmai knows that those beats are for that kind of artist mm -hmm. so doing that has actually really really helped so i think that's definitely like a cool idea to try do the artists know that they're being given beats because if i was an artist and somebody no, no, sent no, me don't. like drake type beats i'd get they kind don't. of offended no, those, okay. those, folders, those folders are only for my manager let's bring another sample in just to run by these That's not bad. Wee, wee, wee. Yeah, let's do another fruity slicer thing. It's an electric guitar kind of thing. Uh, va, va. Okay. done too all right let's send these out another day because it's three in the morning let's send them out tomorrow it's really interesting because you have a following and you have such great momentum right now so i think for you thinking about how you can leverage your momentum to get to these people that you need to get to uh so and i think that's sort of like the question that you want to ask yourself is like how how can i present my brand or create some type of excitement around what I'm doing to get those people excited enough to be like, yes, we want Simon on this album, or yes, we need and want Simon uh, to be involved with, you know, X, Y, and Z. You sort of have to, in a way, convince them that you are that guy ready to go and ready to deliver. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, that, you know, that that's kind of where my brain goes. Give me a date and like whoever get, gets the closest wins. I'm going to say May 15th, 2021. Okay. Locked in. Do you want to shout anything out, by the way? Yeah. Shout to Simon. Um, shout to all, all my people in here. What a time to be alive. What a time to be a music producer. You know, mm -hmm. I think Simon is the perfect example of showing you guys that <clears throat> Anything is possible. I know it sounds corny, but literally anything is possible as long as you're 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 passionate and joyful about your craft and what you want to do. Foot on the pedal and don't let go. Just keep yeah. going. Man. That's it. All right. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Of course, Simon. Yo, keep me posted and please send me those loops. All right, I got you. So I have a couple rappers in mind that I want to hit up. I'm gonna send an email to myself to test this out. Cause if I'm send, if the title is Beats for Simon, that's really not gonna pull them. So I need information that catches their eye in this little, right off the get go. So I gotta mention, I got flex over 500, 496. Capping, <laughs> whatever. I be capping. I want to mention my fan base, so it feels like I'm bringing people in. I, I, 
feel like when I'm reaching out to managers, it's gonna be more formal and emaily. When I go into an artist directly, then it'll be a lot more personal. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Big shout out to Cymatics for sponsoring this video. If you want to get the Drill Essentials drum kit that I use, that's going to be in the description. And if you use the code Drill Sauce, you can get the drum kit for $1. So definitely don't pass up on that. Comment below what other genres I should make next. Yeah, I'll keep you posted on everything. But for now, that's about it. So I'll see you guys soon. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.